it's when you're having those tense conversations and someone's like staring at you and then their eyes float down, they go, is that a Tupac tie? <laughs> Looking for pancake. Should pancake be released? Governor and the lieutenant governor and the speaker and pancake, the governor's dog, uh, did a big sort of you know Hallmark movie setting in front of the governor's mansion at the beginning of the session. It said we want to do school finance and we want to do some public education stuff. We want to do property taxes and we want to do a teacher pay raise. And they got to the end of the session and all four of them were back to say that they got the legislature to do those things that they wanted them to do. So from the standpoint of setting something down at the beginning of the session and getting at the end of the session what they said they wanted, they had a pretty good session and that's a relatively rare thing in sure. Texas politics. It's really good seeing my colleagues like happy on the last day. It's nice to see everybody laughing and you know, just, it's different. A sine die is sort of Latin for that's all, folks. It's basically the end of the show. They gavel out and they leave. In the Texas House of Representatives, the 86th Legislative Regular Session stands adjourned, sine die. God be with you in your travels and see you in about 18 months, everyone, or before. No fist fights, no gun threats, and anything else. And so that's the end of a really good session. The 2017 session was noisy, raucous. They were fighting a lot. They actually almost had a fist fight on the floor of the house. And a lot of them came back and not wanting to repeat that whole experience. The takeaways has got to be that, that we focused on the big things that Texans really wanted us to. The overarching um, memory will be school finance. Um, and that will include property tax reform. In school finance reform, first time uh, that in, in decades uh, that we've actually done reforms, really since 1984, uh, but we also did it without a court order, uh, which, is, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it. So in the past, they've been able to do school finance only under the orders of a court, and it's because it's a hard thing. You have to either cut education spending, raise state spending, or raise local property taxes, and those are all you know, politically awful things to have to do. So the first thing that happened this session, we got a note from the controller that said, hey, you have a bunch of money. In fact, you might have enough money that you can both increase state spending on public education and also cut property taxes, which is in fact what they ended up doing. You didn't see huge controversial things that, that kind of took the air out of the room, but the things we were working at were important. Many things that they were talking about in social conservative circles didn't come up. There are some things that they can brag about, but they didn't have what they would call a sweeping victory in this section. Uh, obviously winning 12 seats is a wake-up call for any par party in power. The election of 2018 had a huge impact. Some of the races were very close with some of my Republican colleagues and I think it did encourage more movement toward working on solutions to those things that make a difference in the day-to-day -day lives of Texans rather than getting caught up in the social issues. I believe the citizens of this state are really going to appreciate what we are doing. It's a session that Texans can be proud of. We focus really on the, the core functions of Texas government. I think that's what people are going to remember this session for. I hate session. I think I wish I had not gotten to the point where five Red Bulls are not enough anymore. But other than that... I think the thing that I'm going to remember the most is just the numb feeling that kind of went down my spine and through the backs of my legs just from sitting down so long. My confession is that I think tax policy is fascinating. And I want to keep covering it. <laughs> Dan Huber giving a huge bear hug to Senator Larry Taylor. I had a, a lobbyist tweet me that said that's the photo of the session. Any embarrassing moments? Um, I have definitely fallen down the stairs running down to try to get something to the floor. Always keep granola bars or some sort of snack in your bag because otherwise you will hate yourself. So you can have food in the Senate chamber but sometimes you have to be there for like seven or eight hours so 
if you bring a string cheese in your purse, you put it in your sleeve, <laughs> you can... <laughs> For years, uh, people said um, that they wanted the Texas legislature to get serious, and this year they got serious, and turns out it's pretty boring. This has been a boring ass session. There has not been drama at all. And all throughout like March and April, I was like, oh my god, I want it to be over, I want it to be over. And now it's the last day, and I'm just like, what happens now? I don't have a, like, that was my life. I like the pace of session. Um, and I'm actually kind of like a little <laughs> worried, like what am I gonna do now? What are you looking forward to now that the session's over? Uh, not bringing my laptop to bed. I am excited to sleep something for the first time in a few months. I'm just a simple man, I just want to get back to covering politics. So like, <laughs> I don't think Patrick ever stopped covering everything. Sorry, oh, this is, do you need it. any of this for under yes. the toe? <laughs>but you might like the results. We've got redistricting in two years. That's usually a pretty good fight. So the, the fight promoters among us have another one coming in a couple of years. These are my biggie socks. In what has been called the Kumbaya session, I think, you know, East Coast, West Coast, you gotta bring people together. You gotta stop the warring factions. Okay, what if you... I just like hover around? Oh, 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 o